Yeah. Try to rap this real, cause the other make me ill. Harassed by them boys on the daily, make me feel. Pain come from bills that will have you stone killed. Hope with them grills and they ride the big wheels. Trump over hike shit, calm better chill. Gotta get this cheese, not G's for fur meals. Rat talk and thoughts will get the back pill. Like an orange cut by a knife, I'm so detailed. Gotta rep this real, cause the other made me ill. Harassed by them boys on the daily, make me feel. Pain come from bills that will have you stone killed. Hope with the grills and the ride the big wheels. We gotta get this cheese, not G's for fur meals. From Cobra Hype Chick, calm better chill. Whack talking thoughts will get that back pill. Like an orange cut by a knife, I'm so detailed. The real vision. Real vision. You watching right. real vision right now. You watching real vision on GMRS TV. Yeah. Say, say real vision. Real vision. You heard it from the best. <laughs> real vision. Real vision. Real vision. Real vision. You know what I'm saying? GMRS TV. It's Real Vision. It's GMR and S TV. GMR and S. Girl, man, real nigga shit. What's Real Vision? I'm Real Vision is behind us. We got that nigga Ray J in here. Yeah. This is friend with Real Vision. Real Vision. Real Vision. Real Vision. You're in the motherfucking building the realest shit on fucking TV. Can say black people break the words that be said. Man, I have them devils quaking. Body heavy aching. Ain't no time for faking. They gotta have you shaking. The wrong move you taking. Body heavy aching. Ain't no time for faking. They gotta have you shaking. The wrong move you taking. Gotta rep this real cause the other make me ill. Harassed by them boys on the daily make me Gotcha. So how much time is on there? 15 seconds? 15 seconds. Oh, look, man. Like Darth Vader? I got like Darth Vader? Mm -hmm. Six, five, four, three, two. Yeah. Bless it. You already know what it be like. It's your highness. Once again, Real Vision on GMR and STV. That's grown man, real nigga shit. For y'all that don't know. You got my homeboy, Jay Jizzle. Man, just go on and do your thing. Let them know who you be like, man. Yeah, this your boy, Jay Jizzle, coming at you live once again. GMR and STV. Grown man, real nigga shit, like my homie said. Coming to get at you, see what's going on. Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? So, third week Real Vision, it's the second live show, you know what I'm saying? So we just laying down the groundations, like I was saying last week, just to let y'all niggas know what it be like out here, and um, you know what I'm saying, how we going, the little perspective we coming at it, and um, the avenue we coming at it, you know what I'm saying? Straight, real, straight uncut, straight raw, no gimmicks, you know what I'm saying? That's how I be, so. You got a little intro last week, Real Vision, what it be like, man. You know, first, I just to let y'all niggas know um, when I talk, you know, just to let everybody know, you know what I'm saying? So when I talk, I talk for my black people first, you know what I'm saying? That's just the way it is, because you can't come try to do nothing else. You got to clean up your own house. That's how I see it. So I'm talking to my niggas first out here, you know what I'm saying? Everybody else after that, you know what I'm saying? No hard feelings, no kind of way. If you real with yourself and you know who you is, then you ain't got nothing but respect for something like that. You know what I'm saying? Cuz, so we're gonna get into it like this. Tonight's topics we're gonna kinda get into, you know, same thing along the lines of last week. We're gonna deal with niggas and the mentality of how they doing it out here. You know what I'm saying? What I really wanted to get on, cuz, was um, niggas and like the fear. You know what I'm saying? Like, just basically how, you know what I'm saying? How basically. Cause you know you your own worst enemy, you know what I'm saying? You're your own worst enemy, you your own worst enemy out here. So how basically niggas is so scared, you know what I'm saying? Anything outside basically, they little comfort zone, you know what I'm saying? Like basically a lot of niggas be in their little spot, they little hood, and they, um, they good with all that. But anything outside of that, they really scared of the shit, you know what I'm saying? Especially when it comes to like the system, you know what I'm saying? Come to anything foreign outside of their block, outside of their area, they get, and they, they get basically Intimidated, start nothing up. They hard around each other all day, louder than a bitch. You know what I'm saying? One cracker come around, a couple crackers come around. They don't really know how to talk. You know what I'm saying? Or they get outside their hood, they don't really know how to act because they ain't really worldwide. So, you know what I'm saying? 
I want to get into the fact of how niggas really so scared, you know what I'm saying? A lot of shit that niggas could be stepping up and empowering themselves and doing, you know what I'm saying? But ain't nobody holding niggas back but us, you know what I'm saying? So ain't nothing really, you can't really look at this and look at that to blame anything. You got to look at yourself first, you know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas want to be like, bam, man, you know what I'm saying? These crackers want to, you know, they doing this and the system doing that. And they just, you know what I'm saying, fucking nigga. That's why I can't do this, this or that. Yeah, you know, we know the, the crackers and, they system, and the system got their role. You know what I'm saying? What's going on in life. But we also know that everything starts with you. You know what I'm saying? Because only I self, you know what I'm saying? That's what it's saying in the scripture. It say, I am that I am. It's you. You got to be accountable for what you do. You got to be responsible for your actions. You know what I'm saying? And um, at the end of the day, you the beginning at the end of your life. So looking at yourself first, man, what really I see that niggas be so scary. Really go back to, I'm going to tell you straight up, they all go back, right back to slavery, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all ever um, checked the internet or checked the book and saw the, um, the Willie Lynch document dealing with um, the slave owner, Willie Lynch, being a um, British man that was down in the West Indies, you know what I'm saying, implementing slavery down there when um, the, the African slaves were brought over from Africa, brought over from Ethiopia to the um, Western world, you know what I'm saying, back in the... Um, 14, 1500s when that was occurring. As we know it today, the mental slavery still exists. But from slavery back then, Willie Lynch basically showed on the document how you can um, divide blacks and divide, um, and divide blacks in every kind of way, you know, the man versus the woman, the light skin versus the dark skin, the young versus the old. And um, through dividing them, basically, get them weak and then implement the fear. They, he called it the fear of God, basically, like making niggas scared. Like one thing they used to do, we described on the document, is that they'll get a black man, tie him up between four horses in four different ways, and a lot of horses just to run and spread out and, and dismember the black man, tear him apart. You know what I'm saying? So that basically drive the fear. They, while they doing that, they had a, um, the, man, the man's woman and the child out there basically watching that image. So it's basically... The mother telling the child, like, you know, don't really fuck with these crackers like that because that's what's going to happen to you. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to show you, like, don't fuck with us because that's what's going to happen to you. They implement fear doing tactics like that. But, you know what I'm saying, even before that, when you don't have self-confidence, you got room for fear. You know what I'm saying? And I look at the ancient history, man. You know what I'm saying? This is the real facts. The first people on the earth was niggas. You know what I'm saying? That's just the way it go. It was blacks coming up from the Nile, the crater of the Nile River, going upwards through... Um, Africa up the top. So through that civilization first, you know what I'm saying? Self-confidence, it was righteousness, it was peace. All kind of elements basically that's needed to build up a civilization was reigning. But it all started with confidence of yourself. And you know what I'm saying? Through the years, we lost that confidence and then basically allow room for fear to come in, start doubting yourself basically so you start to be your own enemy. And then from doubting yourself, you start to have fears of failure and then people be able to see that, they're going to exploit that. And all the crackers there, they just basically came in. It was our fault because we first, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on, people hitting me up right now. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back what I was saying, they, when they saw that, basically, it was our penalty, basically, from turning our back on what, what the Almighty gave us. You know what I'm saying? Basically, we was reigning everything from the beginning, and then all of a sudden, we just started getting prudent and wise, turned our back on the Almighty, and then that was the penalty we had to go to, what we're going through today. But that's a whole other subject. So it's the fear that niggas got into them, man. Like, even to this very day, man, it's a lot of niggas out there talented as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got a talent they can do. Everybody got something they can put out. Rich in heart, you know what I'm saying? Rich in works, but they just gonna, ain't gonna manifest it because they scared of failure. They scared to put themselves out there, you know what I'm saying? So that's the ones that got the supreme confidence to step out there and put themselves out there to rep whatever they're gonna rep. That's why you gotta conquer all fears and worries and doubts.